Greetings, greetings, bonjour, ujai, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are returning. My name is Tanika Gray, also known as Tania Kai Shutsau, and I am so happy to be here with you today to share this healing practice focused on the third eye chakra, the Ajna chakra. If you are feeling imbalanced in your life, maybe too much work, not enough play, maybe you're faced with anxiety, this will be a great practice for you. If none of those issues speak to you, then this practice will only help to bring more balance into your body and also help with the other chakras. As always, have some props nearby. Today, we will definitely be using the big bolster. So grab one of those. If you don't have a big bolster, do not worry. You can still engage in this practice. Just grab maybe a couple of blankets and maybe if you don't have blocks, put a couple of big pots under the blanket and that will act as your bolster. Always have some water nearby. And without further ado, let's get into this practice. We'll come on to the mat. If you want to sit in a chair for now, that's perfectly fine. If you're joining me on the mat, we're going to start in Sukhasana. If you're sitting in the chair, make sure that your feet are flat on the ground and you can feel or see a 90 degree angle right in the knee area. Let's get settled in. We'll roll the shoulders back a few times. We'll roll them forward a few times. And then lift both of the shoulders back and down. Breathe a sigh of relief. You're beginning your yoga practice. From here, you can gently close your eyes or maybe find a soft gaze towards the earth. We'll keep the palms face down for now, resting on our knees or thighs. And with the eyes closed or fully closed, relax the jawbone, release any tension in the face, relax the forehead, let there be space between the top row of teeth and the bottom row of teeth. And then we'll give a few moments to any thoughts that are going on in your mind. Try to notice them without any judgment. And then on your next exhale, set those thoughts to the side, let them go. And we'll bring our awareness fully to the breath. Keeping that relaxed posture in the face. On your next inhale, slowly inhale through the nose. Feel the air passing through the lungs. Feel the abdomen expanding, the shoulders dropping back and down. And slowly exhale through the nose. Feel the body collapsing, the navel drawing inward as you release. Beautiful air. Continue to breathe as slow as possible. As we continue here, bring your awareness now to the middle of your forehead, keeping the eyes closed or having your soft gaze. Just bring your awareness to that area in between the two eyes, a little bit above the eyes. 
the Ajna Chakra. And imagine that right there is a beautiful purple glowing light. And on your inhale, imagine that light illuminating so bright. And exhaling. Keep going and remember that these chakras go straight through to the back side of the body. So we have this imagination of what's happening in the front of the forehead. Imagine that beautiful light going right through the head all the way to the back. Continuing to breathe nice and slow. Take two more slow breaths here, maintaining the visualization of the beautiful purple light. Nice. Left. Release control of the breath and just notice how you feel, notice what you see. It is said that once you begin to balance and clear in this chakra, you can start to see lights when your eyes are closed. If you don't see any lights today with your eyes closed or within your soft gaze, do not worry. You can always replay this video and keep working on that area. We'll gently open the eyes now. Completely. If you have a soft gaze, just open the eyes a little bit more. If they were completely closed, just gently open the eyes. Before we come out of our Sukhasana completely, we're going to go ahead and switch legs. So whatever leg was on the outside, bring that on the inside. And whatever leg was on the inside, bring that one to the outside. And here we're going to take three more slow breaths and then get deeper into our practice of balancing, cleansing the third eye. Gently close our eyes again, bringing our awareness back to the forehead and our beautiful purple light. We'll take three more slow breaths here. Relax the jawbone. Slowly inhale. Very nice. Release control of the breath. You can keep your eyes closed if you like or gently open them again. As you're ready, gently turn your chin towards your left shoulder. And exhale. Inhale to center. And exhale, turning your chin towards your right shoulder. Nice. 
Inhaling, coming back to center, and then exhale, chin towards the chest. Beautiful. Lifting the chin, the nose up towards the ceiling. Inhale. As you exhale, relax your head back as far as it feels good for you today. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale. And then release control of your breath once more. Gently open your eyes if they were closed. And now, I invite you to reach for your big bolster or your blankets with blocks or blankets with pots, whatever combination you come up with. We're going to head into Adho Mukha Shavasana in a restorative posture, okay? Our downward facing doll. So we mentioned that if there's an imbalance in the Ajna Chakra, then maybe if there's too much work and not enough play. Also, there may be too much play and not enough work, maybe too much time in the fantasy world. Just want to be mindful of that. We'll swing the legs around and come into Adha Mukha Shavasana. So we'll do that by setting ourselves up. Uh, we're hovering over the bolster. We're going to go ahead and extend the legs up, curl the toes under, send the legs hip and hips up, and find our posture. And then maybe reach your hands forward so that your head can rest on the bolster. If this is not high enough for you, maybe you grab another bolster, maybe add a blanket to get it to the height that you need. And we'll be here. I need to time us when we're doing our restorative posture. Let's get the timer going. Awesome. Yeah, so this is much better for me. The bolster with the blankets. So that's where I'll be today. I hope you find your position and the timer starts. Uh -huh. Stay connected to your breath. We'll take one more slow breath here. As you exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees down to the mat, uncurl the toes, send the hips 
back. Excellent, excellent. We'll stop our timer. Our next posture is child's pose. All right, so knees are to the width of the mat. You got big toes touching in the back. If you used a blanket like I did, you could take that blanket and place it right over top of your heels. Pull the bolster in closer towards you, whatever you're using as a bolster, and then rest right on top of it. And we'll turn to the right cheek first, and then we'll turn to the other side. And now we'll gently switch to the other side. So gently turn and rest your left cheek on top of your bolster. Few more seconds here. Nice slow breaths. Take one more slow breath here. Gently coming up. We'll bring the bolster to the side. Bring the blanket to rest on top of the bolster. Bring the hips down to the mat. We'll bring the right Heel in towards the base of the body and extend the left leg. Here again, if you'd like, you could grab a bolster or a blanket to support you. If you have the bolster, you could put it either right beside your left leg or on top of your left leg. But we will be allowing the body to drape towards the left side. So whatever works for you, then we're going to, again, 
set our timer. So once you find what feels good, allow your body to drape over to the left side and the time begins now. Okay, connected to your breath. Your forehead does not have to connect to the bolster or blanket, but it does feel yummy if it's you know, grabbing a blanket to help me get there. Take one more slow breath here. And exhale. Gently bring your hands towards your body and pull yourself up. We'll release the bolster to a place, a more neutral position so that we can now extend the right leg and bring the left heel in towards the center of the body as much as possible. Setting ourselves up on the other side, we place the bolster in the same positioning or there's another position that works better on the right side for you. Make a small adjustment here. And our time begins now. Stay connected to the breath. Notice how this side might feel different from the other side and make adjustments as needed. Nice, slow, deep breaths as you can.
Invitation to take a one more slow breath here before we transition. Again, slide your hands in closer to your body, maybe holding the bolster. Gently push yourself up. Release the bolster blankets to a neutral position so that we can extend the left leg. And now we'll have the legs as wide as possible on each side. We'll bring the hands behind us. Press the hands down towards the earth. Lift the hips and see if you can separate the legs a little bit more. If not, that's fine. No worries. Now we're going to bring the bolster right into the middle here, pressing against the thigh. We'll place a blanket on top. We need a little bit more height in our support area. So I'm going to add a smaller bolster and then a blanket. So find what works for you. And once you get into your chosen position and you're feeling good about it, the time begins now. Again, option here to rest on one cheek and then the other. I'll let you know when we're at the midway point so you can switch cheeks if that's what you choose to do. Or maybe you just have your forehead on your support. If you did choose to lay on one cheek, now is a good time to switch to the other cheek. We're midway through our holding here. There's an invitation to take one more slow breath here. And exhale, bringing the hands in close to the body. Gently pull yourself up. Lovely. Let's remove our supports. Or there's an invitation to remove your support so that we can go a little bit deeper. If you feel like you still want to have something here, then that's fine, but do your best. We'll inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, fold forward. Fingertips connect to the mat. We inhale, roll the hips back and down. We exhale, walking the fingertips forward, even if it's just one tiny millimeter. It's perfectly good. Inhale. Hips back and down, shoulders back and down, the two major joints in the body. And exhale, walk the fingertips forward. Two more slow breaths here. As you're ready, take your left hand and reach for your left foot. Move your right palm towards the ceiling. 
serve your right hand to your right foot. Lift your right arm up and over to the left side. Our gaze is up towards the ceiling and we're looking to see if with every exhale we can bring the torso, the head a little bit closer to the left leg. We'll take two more slow breaths here. Nice. On your next exhale, release your torso, your forehead towards the earth. We'll inhale, the shoulders back and down, hips back and down, feet are flexed. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Nice. Then we'll reach the right hand to the right foot, maybe the ankle, the shin, whatever you can grab a hold of. Flip the left palm towards the ceiling. Reaching the left hand towards the left foot. We inhale, reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, landing on the right side. Gazes towards the ceiling. Every exhale lets us come a little bit closer towards the earth. Nice. One more slow breath here. Hmm. Beautiful. On your next exhale, gently release your torso towards the earth once more. Inhale, shoulders, hips back and down. Exhale, reaching the fingertips forward. Bring your awareness, your attention back to that beautiful purple light shining in the middle of your forehead. Now it's headed directly towards the earth and also receiving nourishing energies from the earth. We inhale and exhale, reach a little bit further. Nice. Keeping the chin tucked in towards the chest, we'll roll up. Sliding the hands back in, one vertebrae at a time. The shoulders are the last, well, the shoulders come up and back, and then the head is the last part to sit right on top. We'll pause here for a moment and just notice how you feel. Notice your forehead shining brightly, intuition increasing. Balance is here. Now we'll slide the legs together, bend the knees, soles of the feet on the floor. We're then going to take our left hand and hold on to the right ankle. Bring the right ankle over to the left side, coming into Garudasana. Take the right hand to the left ankle and bring the left ankle to the right side as much as possible, stacking the knees on top of each other. We'll have the right hand on the, holding on to the left toes, left foot, left hand holding on to the right toes, the right foot. Relax the shoulders back and down. Slowly inhale. If we can tighten this area in the middle a little bit more, let's try to do that. We'll take one more inhale here. Exhale. Nice. Extend the hands out. Arms are reaching out like a shape of a T. We inhale here. Exhale, bend up the elbows. Nice. We inhale here. 
Exhale, closing in, bringing the forearms together and then coming into eagle arms. So we'll bring the right arm under the left and then wrap the arms around each other. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height and continue to breathe slowly. Three slow breaths here. Nice. Gently release your eagle arms. Open the arms up nice and wide. Inhaling, exhaling, bring the hands down to the mat. Going to come out of this posture in the legs and reverse. So now the right hand is uh, bringing the left foot over first. So the left leg is going to be under the right. And then the right hand is going to bring, I'm sorry, the left hand is going to bring the right foot over to the left side again. But this time the right leg is on top. We have both of the hands holding on to their, the feet that are on their side. So right foot is in the left hand, left foot is in the right hand. Draw the shoulders back and down. Another slow breath here. See if we can stack the knees a little bit more. Sitting up tall through the spine. Inhale, open up the arms nice and wide. This time, exhale, keep the arms straight and bring them in towards each other. From here, we'll bend the elbows. This time, take the left arm under the right and wrap it around, coming into eagle arms. Rising the elbows up to shoulders height. We'll take three slow breaths here. Awareness of the purple light in the third eye chakra. Nice. As you exhale, release your eagle arms, open them up nice and wide. Oh, it feels so good. And then unhook the legs, extend the legs out straight, and just bounce the feet, the legs, bounce the legs up and down, up and down. Very nice. <sighs> Bring the prayer hands to heart, feet are flexed. Eyes are closed. Notice what you see. One more slow breath here. Sitting up tall through the spine. Shoulders back and down. Nice. All right, it's time to clear the mat. So remove everything off of your mat. Make sure you have the whole mat free. See, you got a little messy in here. All right. And then from here, we'll swing the legs around, coming into a supine shavasana. Here, we're going to place the right hand on the mat. Elbow is bent, left hand on top of the right hand, and place the chin right on top of the left hand. And relax. Allow the breath to come in and leave as it needs to. No need to control it right here, right now.
and then you could stay here or as you're ready gently turn your body over into our supine shavasana shavasana on our fingers if you want to bring in some support blanket bolster you can do that for sure i'm going to grab a bolster and place it under my knees that always helps me feel better in this posture and maybe it will work for you if you have an arch in your back or lower back issues it's always good to put something under the legs when we're coming into our resting pose our shavasana so find what feels good for you arms are by our sides palms facing the ceiling. Feel your body melting towards the earth. Scan the body from the crown of the head to your tippy toes. Notice where there may be any tension and release it with your exhale. Check in and make sure the jawbone is still relaxed, the forehead is relaxed, and please stay here as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you do feel more balanced in this practice and in your life. Until we meet again, I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. Namaste.